Hello and welcome to Open Line. I'm Starlene Stringer. Well, the school year is coming to a close and for a lot of Irving residents, that means heading to Irving's aquatic facilities for exercise, fun in the sun, and even summer job opportunities. Aquatic Supervisor Lynn Harper joins us to talk about our facilities and programs and later in the show, we'll get specifics on the Learn to Swim and Lifeguard Certification programs. Lynn, thanks so much for being here. Star, thank you. It is my pleasure to come and talk a little bit about what we have going on here in Irving. Well, we can't wait to hear about it. Before we get into specific details, let's just get a broad overview because I understand there are a lot of places to have fun in the water in Irving. We really have something for everyone here. We have seven pools and two splash pads. We've got two really nice indoor aquatic facilities. We've got two outdoor water parks, three neighborhood pools. And then I think I mentioned the splash pads, which are everyone's favorites. If you ever ran through a sprinkler and loved it, this is that on steroids times 10. It's amazing. Oh, you got everybody excited. So when do they open? We open on Memorial Day weekend. So that'll be May 26. We're open that weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Of course, Irving schools are still in session. So we close during that week and then we open really for the summer on June 2nd and 3rd. Saturday okay. and Sunday. That's pretty soon, it's coming fast. Coming fast and we are getting ready. We're busy training staff. We've got all of our advertisements for swim lessons out there. And we're hoping that uh, we see everyone in Irving out at one of our facilities. Well, speaking of the facilities, I understand that the North Lake College Natatorium is one of two indoor swimming facilities mm -hmm. here and that you also um, have that one as an Olympic sized pool, which means it's huge. A lot of people mm -hmm. love that. And there were some big changes made. You had renovations done in 2017. Tell us about them. We were really, really fortunate that this pool is a partnership with Irving ISD and North Lake College, a fantastic partnership. And the ISD partnered with us on the renovation. We did a $8 million renovation. We completely redid the look and the function of the facility. And if anyone's been to the old North Lake, you might not recognize the new North Lake. We have brand new locker rooms. Wow. We have climate control. And uh, we've got a pool that's ready to serve Irving for the next 30 years. Awesome. When we were checking out some video, it looks wonderful. I know a lot of folks are excited about that. So those renovations have been made. And now I understand that the indoor pool at the Heritage Senior Center is about to undergo some renovations too, right? That's exactly right. That pool I refer to as a little pool that can. <laughs> that, that is a smaller indoor facility, but it is probably our most heavily used facility of all in Irving. Hmm. It is a big favorite, both with seniors and families alike because it is not exclusively a senior pool. And we're about to drain that pool, replace all the overhead lighting, put in new plaster and tile, and put in new climate control system there this summer. So we're looking forward to that. We think it's going to serve uh, the folks at Heritage Pool for a long time to come. Okay, but it sounds exciting, it sounds great, but everybody goes with renovations means closure, right? In, indeed it does. Unfortunately, we can't do it without closing the pool. We are relocating the programs. We've got our water aerobics programs going to center pool for the summer. We've got uh, some evening group classes going to North Lake, and we've got plenty of pools open this summer. So they're gonna still be options for folks to exercise in the water and enjoy the water. Wonderful, and when do you anticipate the renovations being complete? We definitely believe that we're gonna be complete by early August. Okay, that's not too long. I think we can all be patient and wait for that because it's gonna be fantastic. It'll be done. well worth it. It will be well worth it. I bet. All right, now I understand that there are two water parks here in Irving, the Cimarron Family Aquatic Center and the West Irving Aquatic Center, and they are both big attractions every single summer. So what are some of the amenities that visitors can look forward to this summer? When, when folks come to our water parks, they're going to be surprised. Here in the middle of our neighborhood of Irving, they're gonna find uh, amusement park quality slides. Hmm. They're gonna find concession stands. They're gonna find shade pavilions. They're gonna find play structures that enable small children and families to get in the water and play together and just really enjoy a fun time without um, having to worry about deep water in the leisure part of the pool. For those who want deep water, we do have deep water uh, lanes and I know West Irving Aquatic typically has an ongoing water volleyball game almost any time you stop by. We've got climbing wall. Oh, wow. So 
and we have some really nice toddler pool areas for, for the kids that aren't moving around quite as vigorously yet. And for those who've never been but are excited about going, what's the price of admission? For Irving residents, for children between 4 and 17, the price is $2. For adults between 18 and 54, it's $3. And that's at the two water parks. At any of the other pools, the admission is actually less than that. Mm -hmm. It's a dollar for the children between 4 and 17 and a dollar 50 for adults between 18 and 49. Seniors which start at 50 at all pools other than the uh, uh, water parks are free. Seniors at age 55 at the water parks are free. Any kids who are less than four are always free here in Irving. Okay, and then what about like private events? Do they allow for parties, birthday parties and things like mm -hmm. that? We, we open up our water parks for before hour and after hour pool rentals. Okay. So if you're interested in hosting a private party, you can book a two hour segment of time uh, on a Saturday morning maybe between 10 and noon or maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday evening from eight to 10 at either of our water parks. Those are very, very popular. We have everything from family reunions to birthday parties to band groups to football teams that come in and make use of that. Okay, and so you know something else that's really important to talk about because this is Texas and the weather can change like that. Yes. Uh, with summer, there can be thunderstorms and bad weather. What do people need to know about safety features in case of bad weather? Of course, we have uh, state of the art lightning prediction systems at all of our aquatic facilities. Hmm. So if a storm is approaching, it not only senses lightning, it senses the potential for lightning. And our systems will give us a warning in advance we will, at our outdoor pools, have to clear the pools and get folks to safety in either a um, safe shelter or perhaps in their cars in the parking lot. So, you know, we always cross our fingers that we don't have too many electrical storms that come through. Right. But we are prepared if something like that happens. We will be evacuating ahead of the storm and we want to make sure we keep everyone safe. Wonderful. So you guys have already prepared for storm safety, but I know you're also preparing for just keeping people safe around the pools, period. So what kind of rules do uh, guests and residents here in Irving need to know when they mm -hmm. go to the pools? And what kind of rules do they, when must they observe? You, you know, the first thing that I would like everyone to keep in mind is that our lifeguards are our safety staff, and they're really there exactly for that, to keep our residents and our patrons safe. So if you'll have a talk with your children maybe before you go to the pool and let them know that that, that lifeguard on the stand who probably looks really big to a small child <laughs> right. with that whistle is not going to be yelling at them to be mean. Sometimes they may ask them to stop running. Sometimes they may ask them to stay with a parent. And we do really ask that parents stay close to children, especially children under the age of eight. That's very important. It takes a village to keep everyone safe. Mm -hmm. uh, we have life jackets available at all of our pools. So anyone who would like to borrow a life jacket and use it for the time they're there, we really encourage that. We really make sure that anyone who's going to go into deeper water who is under the age of 16 takes a swim test. Hmm. And we found that this is really effective because uh, in any group of uh, 12 to 14 year olds, there's always one guy who maybe hasn't been in the water quite as much. We wanna make sure he's just as safe as his friends. Sure, that makes sense. So that's good to know, to know that you offer that and have the swim test. So how do they go about taking the swim test? They're offered there? Yeah, they're offered there. All they have to do is as they enter the pool, let one of our staff members know that they would like to take a swim test and we'll have one of our lifeguards go to the swim test area and uh, watch the test, make sure they're safe. Well, once they complete it, we give them a, yellow, a green band and uh, that, that shows us that anyone who's swimming in the deeper water mm -hmm. with a green band has been tested and they absolutely are good to go. Wonderful. Now, of course, there are people that are not going to swim at all. They just go to the pool to relax, mm -hmm. chill out, hang out, and have fun with their friends, and just, you know, enjoy the day. But you also offer fitness programs as well for those who want to exercise and get a little workout in. Can you tell us about the programs that are offered? We do. We have water aerobics classes that happen primarily at our indoor facilities at North Lake and at Heritage. And as I, I briefly mentioned earlier, the Heritage water aerobics programs for the summer are going to be moving over to center pool. Those mm -hmm. will be in the morning time. 
Uh, the evening classes will be relocated to North Lake. Okay. And uh, we really would encourage folks to think about getting involved. Uh, particularly if you've got evening time, we've got a fantastic class at North Lake on Tuesday, Thursday evenings that anyone would have fun and uh, get a little more fit in if they would give it a shot. It looks like a lot of fun. We got to see some video of the water aerobics there. And I know something else people like, one of the big programs is Aqua Stars. Can you tell us about that? Uh, Aqua Stars is one of my favorite programs here in Irving. This is our outreach to special needs children and their families. Uh, we open up Heritage Pool on Sunday mornings once a month and invite any special needs children and their families to come in and swim in a little bit quieter environment. Mm -hmm. In the summertime, we do the same thing at West Irving Aquatic. So we'll be hosting an AquaStars event in July on a Saturday morning and in August and Saturday morning mm -hmm. at uh, West Irving. So I hope uh, any families that would like a little break from the hustle and bustle might uh, come out and join us with any special needs members. I love that, very nice. Now, there's another program that parents need to be aware of that's taking part of uh, the Irving ISD. It's the Swim Safe program. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about that for the parents who are unaware that it's even offered. Right, this, this is a real commitment in the partnership between Irving ISD and the city of Irving. Um, one of the best things about Irving is the sense of community. And we got together as a community uh, three or four years ago and realized that a lot of our kids weren't getting the opportunity because parents worked or for other reasons to get swim lessons and to get training in water safety. So we've worked very hard with Irving ISD to, swarm the, to form the Swim Safe program. This involves all second graders mm. in Irving ISD. They get to come to North Lake Aquatic Center for two weeks of water safety training and swim lessons. It's a tremendous program. We see amazing progress. Uh, I go to the egg hunts and, and hear kids <laughs> talking about how much they loved swimming Aww. and how they look forward to it. So um, we're reaching out to all 20 elementary schools next Wonderful. year, all second graders in all 20 elementary schools. Very cool, I love that. that that's, as a parent, it makes you feel good to know that that's available to make sure kids are safe mm -hmm. around water. Mm -hmm. um, there are some competitive swim instruction opportunities too. Let's talk about, well, summer sharks. Let's talk about <laughs> the summer sharks. The sharks are coming everyone, uh -oh. so watch out. Uh, summer sharks is our recreational swim team opportunity. It is year round, but of course the big season for anything in the water is summer. So summer sharks will be starting June 4th and they practice at three different locations here in Irving. The sharks practice at North Lake Aquatic Center, they practice at Cimarron Aquatic Center, and they practice at Lee Pool. You're welcome to choose any of those locations. We take children between the ages of six and 18. They do need to be able to swim two links of the pool. Just swim it, it doesn't <laughs> have to look great, just swim it, and they do need to be deep water safe. But we will teach all four competitive strokes. We'll work on racing starts, wow. we'll work on turns, we'll teach the kids how to race, they'll improve their endurance. It is the best swim experience out there, bar none. And if they wanna compete, we, we go to swim meets. So wow. they'll be able to go and compete against other local cities if they choose to. Hmm, now that's the kids, but you also have these programs for adults too. We do. We, we've got um, a master swim club that works out at North Lake Aquatic Center early in the morning. Okay. And um, if anyone would be interested in more information, they are welcome to get in touch with me or to stop by North Lake and we can get that worked out. We've got adult instructional lessons of all levels. So um, a lot of times we find that adults who didn't get the opportunity to learn to swim star are a little hesitant to jump in the pool or, or to speak up and say, you know, I don't swim. Sure. Much less to take the step to register for a class and get out there and really join in. I can tell you that one of the best experiences of my life was when I had the time to teach adult swim lessons. Hmm. And um, it's something that even as adults, we talk about kids learning confidence mm -hmm. when they overcome a big challenge. Well, imagine this as an adult. Taking the step to get in there with a swim lesson will change your life. Hmm. You will be so proud of yourself. And yes, you still can learn as an adult. 
Oh, good, 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 good. A lot of adults just went, okay, maybe I'll sign up. So once you've perfected swimming, or at least you've got it down enough, adults, kids, everybody, how can they become a synchronized swimmer? Gosh, you know, it's amazing. Here in Irving, you can do <laughs> that too. I mean, what can you not do in Irving? Right. Uh, we, we have a long-standing association with the Pirouettes of Texas, one of the top synchronized swim teams actually in the United States. Hmm. And here's the thing about the Pirouettes. It's primarily a kids program, but in the last several years, they have a really active master's branch hmm. that has started too. So they have adults who are doing synchronized swimming. They work out at North Lake Aquatic Center on Tuesday and Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. They're always looking for new members who might be interested. So I would encourage anyone who's interested to stop by North Lake. Uh, we can give you a time to go by and kind of see what's going on. Uh, anyone is welcome to call me. But it, I will tell you, synchronized, sometimes people laugh at it and they think, oh, it's like dance in the water, how hard is that? These folks are the best athletes in the pool. Half of what they do is underwater holding their breath. Oh boy. It's amazing. It's almost like being in a yoga class because you can't breathe or they're saying, you know, hold in your breath and then let it out. It, it is about the breath control. That's so exactly right. a little right. bit of everything. There's a little, a little bit, bit of, of everything ballet, a little bit of yoga. A little bit of yoga. I love Very it. Very much so. So you probably get a good workout in that class as well. You sure do. So about how many people usually are in those classes for those who are curious and want mm -hmm. to attend? Are they packed? Um, you know, our synchronized classes, we typically have a group of about 20 to 25 kids is what we're seeing out there. Mm -hmm. Our master's group is averaging somewhere between 14 and 17. Okay. So we have um, solid core groups, but it's not packed. There's room for more. I would love to see some more folks come out and take advantage of what we have going. And these all sound like fun opportunities for people who are strong swimmers, but they also have great programs for people who want to learn to swim. We'll talk about where you can do that, as well as the excellent Lifeguard Certification Program when we come back. Joining us now are Lydia Ochoa, Pool Supervisor with Irving Parks and Recreation, and Karen Buchanan, the owner of Soggy Zoggy Aquatics. I love saying that. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. You're so welcome. You know, it seems like a no-brainer, like why even ask this question, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why is it important to learn how to swim? Oh, great question. Um, it's important to learn how to swim, I think, for three reasons. Um, number one, of course, is safety. Um, by learning to swim, you could save your life, you could save the life of your child, or you could save someone else's life. Um, the second reason is for exercise. Swimming is an exercise that you can take with you throughout the rest of your life. Um, you can swim as you're younger and as you get older and you need um, to exercise um, with less stress on your joints or your limbs. Um, swimming is great for that. It'll keep your uh, heart rate down as you work out in the water. Um, and I think the third reason is um, because it's great fun. <laughs> you know, we have some wonderful facilities here in the city of Irving. Um, just off the top of my head, I can think of Center Pool with its um, great place to have picnics with its covered tables. And then, of course, it has this wonderful island way out in the way out uh, close to the um, way out in the center of the pool where the children can swim out and hang out on the island and swim back to the end. Well speaking of kids and learning how to swim at what age do they start and how do you start them? <laughs> we start at the age of six months we have a parent-child class where the parent comes in the water and swims with the kid uh, with the child and we talk about um, uh, it's more of a um, class where children learn how to just enjoy the aquatic environment. And then we go on, we have pre-K lessons for our three and four year old students. We have our levels one through five. Um, level one starts at five years of age and that goes on until the children are, uh, they can swim with us until they're 16 years of age. And at 16, we, they are uh, eligible for our adult classes. And of course we teach several adults uh, in the Irving area. I think the uh, oldest person that we have actually had registered for our adult classes was 82 years old. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so it's never too late or too early to start. That's correct, you bet. So how do people go about signing up and, and registering for a class? Oh, it's really very easy. Um, all of our classes 
the times of our classes, uh, the locations where our classes are, um, the prices are all listed on our website, SoggyZoggy.com. So if you need any information about a swim class, you can look at our website and you can register online right there on our website. If you prefer to speak to someone when you're registering, we have registration open during the summer at Center Park Pool and at the North Lake Aquatic Center as well. Okay, well, we're going to move to Lydia in just a minute, but I, I can't let this part of our conversation end with at, without asking you, where did Soggy Zoggy come from? And is that the Soggy Zoggy mascot on your shirt? You know, that is so funny that you asked me that question because we run 2,000 swimmers through the summer. I think I've probably taught over maybe 5,000 people to swim, and no one has ever asked me that really? question yet. Um, that, you know, a swim student. So um, Soggy Zoggy Aquatics actually came from the name of a beloved pet of mine. Um, uh, his name is Azog, but we call him Zoggy at home. And so <laughs> just writing through different names of the swim program, I thought that was um, a very funny name and something that people would probably be able to remember. For sure. Yeah. So thank you. Now we know the whole background That's story right. behind That's right. <laughs> we got that out, actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so Lydia, it is your turn. Do you want to talk about the lifeguard program with you? Now, some people may be thinking, I have to be a really strong swimmer to apply, and that's probably true. That's definitely a good thing when it comes to doing what you need them to do. So what skills do candidates need to have in place to apply for the lifeguard certification program? What's important? Um, I think what's important is the desire to want to be a lifeguard. So, like you said, there's a lot of people who maybe aren't as strong as swimmers as we would expect them to be or mm -hmm. we would want them to be. But we can definitely work um, on developing those skills. Um, at North Lake Aquatic Center, at Heritage, everyone is, um, all the employees and like the staff, we're more than welcome to get in the pool and help you with whatever you need in order to pass that uh, prerequisite exam in order to take the class. So okay. we work with everyone uh, during our shifts. Awesome, so what will the trainees learn? What do you teach them? So uh, we try to focus on the prerequisite exam in order to register for the class. So um, in order to do that, they would have to, the, the person would have to be able to swim uh, 300 yards without stopping. And we work on their freestyle stroke. So and also their breaststroke. So we try to develop that in order for them to be able to reach a person um, who is as far as like 25 yards um, away from them. So we wanna develop those skills. And then once they've developed those, then they also have to do a brick retrieval from the bottom of the pool. I think it's about 10 feet deep. And so we work on things like getting down to the bottom of the pool, uh, pencil dive, head first dive. So a lot of people struggle with different aspects of that. And then lastly, we try to work on them with treading. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to be able to tread. There's a lot of uh, lifeguarding skills or saves that require that aspect of swimming. So we work on those. Interesting. Yeah, we were looking at the video while you were talking, so it was interesting to see. Uh, I have to ask you, when do the next classes start? We have two classes here coming in May. Um, actually, one in May 9th. So it's the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th and they all go based off of um, the Irving ISD school schedule. So if there's anyone interested who's in uh, school still, they go, they start from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then Saturday, um, it would be from 8.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., but by the end of the class, they should be ready to save someone's life. I love it. So how do they go about signing up and registering for the classes? Okay, so like I was speaking about, the, there's a prerequisite exam that they have to do. So they would have to get in contact with someone either at uh, North Lake Aquatic Center or Heritage Aquatic Center and um, be able to um, do the pretest. Yes, right? do yeah. the pretest. Uh -huh. um, and um, so they would have to get in contact with someone. We'll set up a, a time frame where they can, that works for them and works for us to have someone there to be able to do the pretest uh, or us be able to watch them do uh -huh. the pretest. So once that's done, then they would be eligible to register for a class. So awesome. once they pass that, they talk to us, we get their information, their phone number, email, and of course their name, and then they would be registered for a class. 
Wonderful, thank you. And so Lynn, how is it beneficial for these kids that register to become a lifeguard? Gosh, the I, I could talk forever about this experience and, <laughs> and what you'll get out of it. The beginning is the certification. Once you actually pass the pretests and get in the class, you learn not only uh, water rescues and water emergency response, you learn CPR for professional rescuer, mm. and it's a standalone certification that will take you for uh, the CPR requirement in any medical profession. Nice. You will learn first aid and come out with your first aid certification, mm. and you'll also learn AED skills. So you'll be ready to respond, not just in an aquatic setting, but at home, at work, at school, anytime there's a medical or health emergency, you will be prepared to respond. Our lifeguards are one very small step below EMTs. The only thing that they don't do is IVs. Mm -hmm. um, they're fully trained in other regards. So they start with this amazing certification, but after that, they're serving the community out there at our facilities with everyone in Irving. And they're keeping them safe, they're responding if there are ever any issues. And this is an amazing experience that we can give to our young people here in Irving, whether they're 16, and they do have to be 16 to apply to work for us. Whether they're 16, whether they're 20, 22, mm -hmm. they're out there working with the community, keeping the community safe. They learn customer service skills. Yeah. They learn how to work as a team. It's, it's an amazing experience, and almost anyone who goes through this will be talking about you know, this job that they had long past the time they're here in Irving as lifeguards. Awesome, so that's one summer job opportunity, but what are some other summer job opportunities you have available through the aquatics department? You know, we, we do have aquatic park cashiers, and um, those work at our one of our two aquatic parks, and those folks really are our admissions team. Mm -hmm. And so they work with folks as they enter the park so that they know all the rules, they make sure everyone's prepared to go in and have a good time. Um, they check coolers, they make sure anyone who, ha who needs a life jacket has a life jacket. They help everyone get through the uh, ticket window. And these folks are kind of our ambassadors. So we're always looking for people that can respond quickly, that can think on their feet, but also are able to talk to people and just make sure everyone knows that they're welcome. Love that. So this is the big season for y'all. People are getting ready to head to all the water parks. What do you want them to remember most when they come to an Irving facility? I want them to remember first that Irving offers amazing opportunities. Second, that the staff is there to try and make sure that everyone stays safe and has a great time. And then third, that if um, they have any question or doubt about anything, they just need to ask us. We will provide a life jacket. We'll make sure they have a swim test. Um, we'll make sure that everyone knows the rules so that they can have a wonderful time and stay safe. Wonderful. Thank you all, all so much for being here. We appreciate you taking the opportunity and the time out of your busy schedules to tell us about what's going to be happening this summer in Irving at the Aquatic Centers, and it is going to be fun. It Thank is you. going to be amazing. Thank you. Thank you all. And thank you for watching. I'm Starlene Stringer. Please be sure to watch ICTN for our next edition of Open Line, and we'll see you then.